Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. The weekly update is back with another witty edition. That and the daily announcements all coming up next on NHS TV. Good job to the STEM students this past weekend for all successfully launching their very own rockets at the Systems Go Rockets 2012 event in Fredericksburg. Together, the kids created three rockets named Morning Thunder, the Palermo Enterprise, and Juggernaut X. Great job, STEM. Congrats, STEM. And if you haven't gotten prom tickets, the price has now risen to $80. Tickets can be purchased in room 401 before school, during 5th and 7th period, and after school. Remember, all fines must be paid before you can purchase a ticket. Seniors, if you have no immediate plans after graduation, make sure to come check out the free certification meeting tonight at 6 p.m. in room 101. These certifications, which normally cost $1,300, are being offered for free. They can help you secure a spot in a high-demand career and start off with good pay. For more information, stop by the counseling office. Sophomores and juniors, if you're planning on taking dual credit next year, there is a list of courses now available in the Counseling Center. You can also print one of them off the website. Make sure you turn in your course selection guide and dual credit paperwork by May 17th. Juniors, make sure to vote for your senior class officers this Friday. Running for historian is Brooke Griffin, Emily Koenig, Joelle Pina, Karen Stuby, Taisha Thomas, and Marissa Zamora. The only runner for parliamentarian is Taylor Crumpton. For treasurer is Mason Baker, Raquel Klemenczewski, and Corey Smith. For secretary is Elaine Clarkson, Lindsay Laporte, and Chloe Standridge. Cassie Knight is the only one running for vice president. And finally, for president is Karen Knight and Reed Phillips. The link is on Mrs. Wittenberg's page, and the website is open on Friday from midnight to 3 p.m., so go vote, and good luck to the nominees. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for, adding some humor to our Wednesday, the Always Witty Weekly Update with Logan. Hello and welcome to the Always Witty Weekly Update. I'm your humble host, Logan Davidson, and we'll start today with some name news. Apparently, a 41-year-old woman in England has changed her name to have 161 words in it. Allegedly, the former Miss McManus changed her name to draw attention to her charity Red Dreams, which encourages creative projects for children. But all I know is it's going to be funny when she gets pulled over and the officer asks for her name. In international news, the country of Belgium has started to require its teens to text and drive while taking driving tests. Apparently, the entire point is to prove that texting and driving is dangerous, but I'm wondering what, what's going to happen whenever the kid finishes the test perfectly while on his phone the whole time. And in some Dr. Evil style news, the company Wicked Lasers agreed to attach a laser to a shark if they got a certain amount of Facebook likes. And when they hit their goal, they came through. They actually attached a laser to a shark. And to celebrate this, here's some of their inspiration, Dr. Evil's best school appropriate moments. Mr. Powers, you'll notice that all of the sharks have laser beams attached to their heads. I figure every creature deserves a warm meal. <clears throat> Dr. Evil, it's about the sharks. When you were frozen, they were put on the endangered species list. We tried to get some, but it would have taken months to clear up the red tape. You know, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. And that's it for this week. Be sure and tune in next week for a special guest. Y'all stay witty, Northwest. And that brings our show to a close, but stay tuned tomorrow for a special yearbook commercial. Have a great day, Northwest.